guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Masculine, welcome to this week's Yang reading. Um, sorry, I didn't get this video a little bit sooner. I wanted to give a, you know, a little bit of time between the Twin Flame reading and the Yin Yang, um, because the Twin Flame reading was so ex extensive. It was uh, an hour and a half long um, for the extended reading, so there was a lot of information there. Um, so I kind of want to let that soak in, and now we can do the yin-yang. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is the machine uh, spread. So I'm almost wanting to use different cards here, so let's do that. So I'm going to use some of the Romance Angels. I think I'm going to use the Romance Angels for um, how you are feeling. So this would be your um, your spirit or your soul in the past, present, and future. So let's pull those cards first. Okay, grab the book just in case. We're going to do some reading. Um, we're not going to do any reading for the uh, basic version, so we'll try and keep it nice and short. Um, so I also got Call It Baron Reed. So I think we'll use this for... The past, present, and future. So this would represent the future self, right here, the future self, the past self, the present self. And let's see. So this is the Witch's Tarot. So I think I'm just going to use this for the energy um, that is swirling between the past, present, and future. So this would be the energy being brought in to the future. This is the energy, uh, this is what the future wants the present to know. This is what the past wants the present to know. And this is the energy that's being brought into the present from the past. Okay, so um, I need a card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So I'm just gonna pick from the bottom of the Romance Angel. So actually, let's start with that. Healing family issues. <clears throat> so it says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this card talks about, <clears throat> sorry, this card talks about um, your relationship with your parents. So, you know, depending on how you've been brought up, how your parents interacted, it all um, is reflected on your behavior, whether you realize it or not. So um, this this card talks about healing your wounds, healing those, you know, those family issues that, um, you know, they make you decide who you're going to be with and who, you know, you're basically your life partner choices. So if you find that you keep meeting the same type of person over and over again, then you really got to look deeply at that. But more importantly, um, you know, heal 
the wounds that you have that you've been carrying around in regards to your parents. So that is the overall energy for the week of June 9th until the 16th. Okay, so let's look at your present self. Passion, allow your heart and joy, or soul to sing with joy. So passion is um, your present self. You're feeling passionate. You're feeling romantic um, feelings. And you want to express those feelings. Let me just look at the book really quick here. Okay, so seek joy. Um, you have the power to revive passion in your life. Very nice. So, you know, this is all about being in a positive frame of mind. And if you look at the Twin Flame reading, that's what this was all about, right? It's being in this beautiful, joyous, um, positive state. And we got a beautiful synchronicity here because it's reflected in the cards. Um, so the past self is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, so this person has either received a letter or written a letter. And in the Twin Flame reading, this concept came up a couple of times. Um, it's a good way to purge any negative energy that you've been holding on to. So, one moment. Sorry about that. That's why I'm trying to um, soundproof this room is because you can hear everything. Um, so, yeah. So that coupled with the overall energy, healing family issues, re release your ex. Um, you have made some realizations about the relationships that you've been in and you know, maybe you feel inclined to stay in a marriage um, because that's what's expected of you. Um, or, you know, there's some type of obligations that you're being held to. And what I feel with this is that you're finally releasing those obligations and you're starting to put yourself first. So this all begins with forgiveness. So that's your past self. Let's see what the past card shows. Time to take a nap. So this is, you know, putting big issues aside. It is, you know, putting relationships on hold, um, you know, and just allowing stillness into your life. So the two of these cards together, I feel that you've been through a, a rocky situation, um, and you've had to release some things in your life and you basically took some time to heal from that. Okay, so what is the energy that's being brought into the future? The Five of Wands. So conflict, um, barriers, you know, there's a lot of challenges. Um, that you're still dealing with. So this energy of fighting and conflict um, is being brought into the future. So, you know, these are minor challenges, minor obstacles. Uh, so it's all a matter of perception. Um, these, this energy is meant to make your light shine brighter. So um, maybe you feel that there's competition, but I feel, you know, this is more of a defensive energy, especially from release your past and take a nap. It's like you've been through a lot of shit and you just need to kind of catch your breath. Okay, fine. Stay down there. So I'll leave this um, card for later. So this is the energy that uh, the past wants the present to know. <clears throat> so let's look at the present position. Orphaned. Wow. Um, so this is feeling alone, feeling uh, abandoned, feeling like you have nobody to turn to. So, you know, it, it's a very reminiscent of what I'm seeing over here. Release your ex. Um, and now you feel that, you know, you don't belong, um, and that you want to 
seek your tribe, seek those people that, you know, support you, love you. Um, but this coupled with the passion card, you know, even though you feel alone, there are these emotions that are stirring in your heart. And for the twin flame reading, the overall energy was to express these emotions, right? So, um, what I'm feeling with, with this is don't hold back, express yourself, allow yourself to feel, um, you know, yes, you are still healing from a situation. Um, but the more you retreat, the more you, you know, the, the more you stir up shit in your life, basically. If you try to avoid a situation, it's just going to come back to you at some point uh, tenfold, right? So um, don't withdraw. Express your emotions. The future position. A leg up. Very nice. This is somebody asking for help. Somebody who um, wants to support you. Like this is a mother bear, right? Um, so if either family or friends um, will help you in the future position. So what is your future self? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. <clears throat> so this card is talking about um, you've already met that person and if you're looking for confirmation this is a card to give it to you so what I see with the two cards together it's you know you have this bond that is unshakable when you need her she's there for you uh, and vice versa right this bond is so strong um, so you've released your past and now you're looking to the future and you're considering, you know, your twin flame to be the one. Um, and you're making that realization and you're reaching out, you're connecting. So that's awesome. Okay, so what is the energy that's being brought into the future? the Queen of Pentacles. So this could represent the Earth sign. Um, so this is from the, the present to the future. So this is somebody who's a mother who um, takes care of her family, takes care of her home. She wants to create this beautiful environment. This is somebody who's very financially stable, um, secure within herself. So you know, you're, it's almost like you're looking for this mother figure, this connection. Um, you know, you didn't have it in the past. There was so much conflict, fighting, and, you know, now there's this idea of you reaching out and connecting with somebody who's a little bit more in, aligned with you. You know, your, your twin flame, they bring out passion and, and love in your life. So the energy you're bringing into the future is stability found at home. You know, um, you're creating a home life. You want this happily ever after um, stabilized into the 3D reality, if that makes any sense. I'm still really struggling for words. Um, okay, so what does the future want the present to know? the four of swords. So this is, um, you know, this card comes after a heartbreak, after a difficult um, ending. And you can see that ending over here. So the future is telling you to, to rest, to retreat a little bit longer, heal your heart, um, find stillness before you begin a new relationship. Um, that idea of beginning anew was also a theme in the Twin Flame reading. So what does the present, or sorry, the past want the present to know? Nine of Swords, worry, fear, anxiety, guilt. Deal with these negative thoughts, these fears, overcome. Um, reach out if you need to. You know, these 
obviously these issues are coming from your your family um, the way you view relationships right so this is all a self-imposed um, reality so if you switch your perspective into a more positive frame of mind um, you'll be more happier right and you have that ability to flip that switch so I love that you're you're clearing this the, the cobwebs um, please don't do this alone reach out for help um, and it seems to me that you that's definitely what you end up doing all right so I'm gonna pull one card from let's see what should we do let's do Osho Zen okay I just threw that on the ground by accident are you able to see these cards okay? There we go. What final messages do you have for Yang? For the collective Yang? Turning in. The Four of Cups. Now, normally this card talks about um, withdrawing, disconnect, discontent, um, stagnation, uh, emotional withdrawal. Um, but in the Osho Zen, it talks about going within, quieting those voices in your mind. Very similar to what this card is, even though this is a cup and a sword, um, the Osho Zen is very similar. But there's an emotional element added to it. Okay, so. Okay, I, I want you to be able to see the card. Can you see how there's these faces of people that you're carrying around with you? Pe other people's thoughts, other people's emotions. And this person has turned within and the water is starting to calm. So let me read that to you. The woman in this in image has a faint smile on her face. In fact, she is just watching the antics of the mind, not judging, not trying to stop them, not identified, uh, just watching as if they're traffic on the road or ripples on the surface of a pond. And the antics of the mind are slightly amusing as it jumps up and down and twists this way and that trying to get your attention and seduce you into the game. To develop the knack of taking a distance from the mind is one of the greatest blessings. It is what meditation is all about. Not chanting a mantra or repeating an affirmation, but just watching as if the mind belongs to somebody else. You're ready to take this distance now and to watch the show without getting caught up in the drama. Indulge yourself in the simple freedom of turning in whenever you can, and the knack of meditation will grow and deepen in you. Beautiful. So there is a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, feeling of aloneness, right? Fear, anxiety. So those thoughts are not your own. They're coming from the past. They're, you know, subconscious thoughts. And when you bring awareness to those thoughts, they no longer control you. Okay, so um, I do hope this helped you. Please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, I'll see you next week. Cheers.